All right, you guys, here's the mini axe, the mini sword, and the mini spear. And you can use these for cleaning your nails, picking the nuts out of walnuts or nuts, um, opening envelopes, whatever you want to do. Or you can just collect them or build them for collection. I, I just keep trying to invent new, new, I like the weapon, the mini weapon idea. So next I'm going to get like the mini, the little thing with the ball, the malice. We're going to see what we can come up with. I was even thinking like mini nunchucks would be cool. But today we're going to start with, I'm going to show you how to build the axe. And what I'm using is I'm using nails, you guys. This is, this is how I'm building my swords right there. All my swords are built with these. I buy them by the box. Five bucks for a box of 50 of them. So that's like 10 cents a piece. And uh, the wire I buy in color rolls at Walmart. So today we're going to show you how to build the, the, the axe. Because there's a way to do it right and a way to do it wrong. And I'm learning that the hard way. So we'll start with that. Alright you guys. So the nail will end up. This will be your, uh, your raw form. And how to get it like that, you don't bend the nail anything first. I'm going to show you the item of how to do that. What's going on here is I've got a small anvil from a piece of train track I'm going to show you next. Alright, so this is my piece of railroad tie I use as, as my anvil. It's a railroad rail. I uh, keep that here in my room. It makes it pretty uh, easy to... Uh, do this without having to go outside so this is the end that's going to be your handle this is the end that's going to be your axe head so the best way to do the axe head is not to flatten it out all the way but to get it started okay so if you get get it started like that and take a pair of channel locks this is how I do it. it. Makes it easier. You just grab onto it and bend it at that point. Because if you flatten it any, what I found out is if you flatten it out too much and then twist it, it's going to break off. So at the point after you've bent it over like this, you just grab it, twist it like that. So that now you can hold on to it with your channel locks. I probably could have bent that a little bit better. It's harder to do it afterwards. Anyway, so you basically get the concept. This is what we end up with. And the next step would be to, to grind it into position. But this is how we get the basic shape. In the next video, I'll show you how to give it some shape. And I'm just using a, a Dremel tool for that. So that'll be the next video. Anyway, getting your raw form of the axe down to this is the start. So I build a bunch of these. I get a bunch of these together, and then I get them all. The next step, I will do the Dremel work, and then the next step is the wrapping. And this is what happens if you flatten it out too much and then try to twist it. It'll break. So just letting you know. The next step, I use a sort of like a little grinding wheel on my Dremel. And I try to give it some shape. I just came across this as a hobby in the last six months. So I use my Dremel with all the tools I have. I try to give it, you know, an older look by furrowing the sides of it a little bit like so. Everyone's different. They get hot. You have to let them cool off if they get too hot.
So I, I scrub them up a little bit before I do any of the actual filing on it. I try to clean it up. Make it easier to sand on it because I do use sandpaper to smooth it out. Every now and then you'll get a little accident like I just did there. Anyway, now for the wrap part, you want the wrap to end and get a good grip on something. So I sort of burrow it a little bit around the top, like so. This will uh, make it so that the wire has a nice little end wrap there. Make sure you're using safety glasses when you're doing this. Little pieces of metal will go flying off your Dremel. Anyway, that gives it a spot to end the wrap on. And it'll stay grip. So pretty much, that's all you really have to do in the shaping of your little axe. Like I said, I clean it up a little bit first, going sort of like an against the grain type movement here to flare it out. It gives it that shiny look and it gives it a rough look too. So anyway, at that point, I'll go back in and I'll do just that. And I got a sharpening stone I'll finish up with. This is a little messy. I could probably use a few tools to do this better. But this is this is just the primitive basic tools I'm using here. A Dremel, a hammer, and pliers and channel locks. I will do the same to the other side here. I'll file the front end a little bit, if I don't mess it up like I just did. I do that often enough. You can always go back and flare it a little bit if you want it. And uh, Anyway, so you guys see, you can sit and file it. You can uh, sand it. You can manipulate it any way you want. I'm just showing you the basic way that I'm getting the shape. And how I make it look like a little axe. I ain't the best with my hands. I'm going blind. So, anyway, you guys. Sand it all up. Like so, then I'll sand it down with sandpaper. So basically, that's how I'm getting my little axes, you guys. That's how they're built. Not too, not too hard. Like I say, make sure you got a little groove there for ending your wire wrap on. And then I always go back when I'm done and I sand a little bit with a piece of sandpaper and uh, clean it up. So I always start like that. And you can buff it and polish it or whatever you want to do afterwards. I try just make them for the fun of it. And I've been gifting a lot of them. People like them. They see them. They look pretty cool. Um, a lot of people collect mini things. And you could frame these. Stick them like in the picture frame. And the picture frame will... Uh, definitely make these look really cool if you wire them up in the frame so anyway as you see I'm, I'm doing it all basically by hand just something to do it's a hobby 
Um, it's a new a new wrap idea, so you guys can do it yourself any way you want. You basically get in your axe this way. So there's our first lesson, and peace out. All right, so after scrubbing it a little more, doing a little sanding on the edges to give it a blade type look, and scrubbing the edge there where the wire ends, uh, that's what I get. That's the, the product before I wrap it. This, of course, is a shorter one because I had broke the head off of it when I was twisting it. So that little twist secret, just so you know. All right, peace out, you guys. Uh, we'll do a wrapping segment on some of these, but I'm going to do some other videos on how to make the spear and how to make the sword. So peace out.